TAVR is the new innovative way to replace the aortic valve. The traditional system has always been open heart surgery with opening the chest. With the new ability to do a catheter-based procedure utilizing a minimal invasive approach, we're able to put a valve in where we could not before. As we age and get into the 60s to 70s, one quarter of the population will have some form of aortic valve disease, being that when we're born we have thin leaflets and with time they can become like leather and have a difficulty in opening up. They're so limited by this sm small narrow valve and they're not getting enough cardiac output. So we put a large catheter in, we take a wire up to cross the valve, and then we run a balloon over it. And what the balloon does is it opens up and kind of cracks that valve so that we can place the new valve, which is loaded on a stent. So once that happens, we open that balloon, it kind of gives us idea about size. We remove the balloon, and then we go up with the valve. And the valve is loaded on a stent and actually requires that calcium so it can stick to, the, to that wall and hold that valve in place. And then the valve itself is a prosthetic aortic valve. And actually, it's an amazing thing. Once it opens up, that patient's aortic stenosis is fixed. They see that blood right away, and it's, it's really one of those wonderful things that, that makes you happy to be a physician sometimes. The only people that we can currently uh, do the procedure on are people who have inoperable disease, meaning they have to be turned down by two heart surgeons. We like to be optimistic when we offer this to patients, but we need to be cautiously optimistic just because we are limited in what we can do for people right now. But we do have a lot of optimism and hope for the future, so. This is just the cusp. What we predict in the future that more and more people will be candidates for this, so they will be avoiding that open heart surgery and the risk of balloons and all of that. So uh, at this stage, uh, we are really on the beginning of a wave that's going to transform cardiology over the next 10 to 15 years. And that's what's so exciting about it, how to help people without hurting them. And that's back to the old Hippocratic Oath.